GPS. Um, I'm yeah. not sure who makes this. Oh, Verge. 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 So. It's, it's asleep right now. Yeah, here we can, I can get you up. There you go. Multimedia technology. So audio, video, special effects, integration, things like that. Nice switch gear. Inverter. Okay, how many? Yeah, just wait until we get to the mechanical room. We will have a good amount of VFD. Oh, there's the boiler. Do you guys use steam boilers or modular yeah. boilers? I, I think it's steam boilers. Yeah, I might because be mistaken though. Like I said, I don't. They're do this. not. Well, you, you'll I, see them when we go in there. I so. saw the hydronic heating hot water pipes outside of the room. Steam boilers are not my favorite because they're hard to maintain and they're an explosion hazard. So I gotcha. You have to like be very careful when you. You know, running a steam boiler, those things are too dangerous. I understand. Man, you know your stuff. It actually sounds good in here. Here, we'll go back to the boilers. Airco. Not bad. And there's that lock and bar electric water heater. Glycol. I don't know where the glycol room is. Is that propylene or ethylene glycol? I have to assume it's propylene glycol, but it, I, once again, I'm not sure. I know I use propylene glycol with my foggers. I don't know about here, once again, this is not my... Um, yeah, we could probably schedule another day with the HVAC guy that works this, that, that knows everything about the... You know, because like I said, I'm just, I don't know HVAC or plumbing or things like that. You can only know so much. Perfectly. This motor is actually very, very small. It's a perfectly small motor. And then that goes up. There's a ladder in there to go up to the air handler side. Now, here's a control center for all the motors. Yep. There is no variable frequency converter in here air compressor i don't know when that'll start because that could start at any time yep. yeah that's actually our air compressor too that's the only thing i do know about that pressurizes uh, uh our foggers these are like older boilers now yes, those 20 years old they're actually modular because i like these types of boilers because they're just very small and you could literally fit them through the door and they could be they can also be transported through the other elevators there. That's what I like about those. We might want to hire you. Oh, putting glycol in a water heater. What? Well, that'll prevent it from freezing, so it's not. So this is how you make Do a you glycol. How old you are? 15. Wow. Are you, you, are you thinking about going into like mechanical engineering or things like that? Yeah, like HVAC engineering. Wow. A nice yeah with, with regards to all of this all stuff, right you may so be the smartest 15 year old i've ever met emergency boiler shut off and up here see i knew it was a stairwell not bad absolutely it looks like a general purpose stairwell it doesn't look anything much you see server equipment up here too yep yeah we got that that uh, uh uh is our audio for up here for the microphone now here's the good part and then we, this right here you want to stay away from that's radio frequency and it is high powered, which means it can give you RF burns. Radio frequency burns almost never heal. Oh, so there's extra security. This is layer and yes. the roof. Oh, mentions. absolutely. See? Older machines. Uh, once again, 2004. Yeah, but these got installed before this company got bought out. Yeah, they literally sound like servers. Yeah. That's the roof entrance. This. This honestly should be a multi-purpose room. It should be renamed. It shouldn't just say elevator equipment. It should be renamed at some point. These machines are massive. Oh. See, and these are cabinets. Oh, one of the fans already shut off. Those are massive power switches. Oh, yeah very neat in here and I was surprised with the um gating over here 
see there you get your built-in platform yeah, i think they want to make sure nobody can get in here to uh safety governor yep i don't know what type of insulation this is it look kind of looks like this right here what is that i think that's that's fireproofing to be honest with you that's the fireproof stuff yeah but yeah that's pretty much everything i've got access to actually you want to see something cool what is this room it's not a room this is the roof are you afraid of heights no good all right i'm okay with going here all right good this is something nobody gets to see you're one of like a hundred people in the world that have been on this roof like that there's the Gordy Howe bridge there's the ambassador bridge that's this is seriously one of the best views of Detroit you'll ever get yeah and now you're the 101st person to have seen it this is our repeater right here so when we make calls to the radio and we want it to get to the museum it comes to here this takes it to the museum Oh yeah, this doesn't even seem like a regular door. It's literally a gate. Yep. Good. Yeah, that's actually the best setup for an elevator receiver. And then here's some of, oh, this is some of the elevator control. Yep, these right here, we installed these because we were gonna set up uh, automatic calling to the elevators. So when the theater ends, it would automatically call the elevator down to the first floor, but we never set it up. Oh, wow. All right, since we're up here, I want to go to the other side real quick because I just installed something. I want to make sure it's still working. 